guys it's Sonem and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here today i'm going to be doing a shop my stash you guys love these and i wanted to bring you guys another one so we're just going to be jumping straight into it going through my collection picking out some products and then doing a look with it at the end so without further ado let's just jump straight into it so let's start off with primer as you can see right right up at the front we do have a bunch of setting sprays and primers so first we do have the Too faced hangover primer but i'm not going to be using that it's brand new in the box um i do have the tom ford illuminating primer which i don't even think they make anymore revolution glass skin my all-time favorite and then the one that i just um reviewed this is a dupe for the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter there's a full video on this it's from collection cosmetics but i did literally just use it so you, i won't use it um in this video fenty primer is running out i may go in with this because i haven't used this in a really long time this is from Etude House and it's called the Face Blur Smoothing Primer. We have this, which I have been absolutely loving. It's the Give Beauty All-Time Prime Smooth Face Oil. So that's an option. So I'm going to grab these two as an option. This I haven't used in a while. This is the Essence Catching Clouds like Mousse Primer. So I think I'm going to grab that because... I haven't really used it, I've only used it once in a video. So I'm gonna grab this one actually for primer. And of course I've got my handy dandy little basket. Moving on into foundation, let's go through all the foundations. We have the Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation. I also have this back here, which is the Essence Pretty Natural. Bobbi Brown Intensive Skin Serum Foundation. I might pull this one because you guys haven't seen me use it. I have the new Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation that I picked up, but I'm going to be doing a full uh, review on this. So I'm not going to use it in today's video. This, I love the L'Oreal Tinted Serum Foundation. Charlotte Tilbury. We have LA Girl Tinted Foundation. We have some L'Oreal Pro Glow, which I love. The Bare Minerals complexion rescue tinted moisturizer but i don't want to use a tinted moisturizer today this i haven't used in a really long time it's the urban decay stay naked foundation so it's pretty much between these two but i think i'm gonna go with the bobby brown because this is a very expensive foundation but it's so luxury and it's just really really nice it's also got spf 40 so i'm gonna grab this one now let's go into powders I do have my rimmel stay matte powders which i love we have Fenty Beauty right up at the front and then some Laura Mercier right here. This one I may use. It's the Glow Wish from Huda Beauty. It's the like pressed powder. Looks like this. It's supposed to be like a radiant powder. So I think I'm going to use this one for the face. I've got the RCMA No Color Powder. I've also got the Banana Light by Makeup Revolution and Ben Nye Cameo Powder. Or I could go with the Rare Beauty, which I recently picked up. And I have this little mini KVD um, Locket translucent powder. I think I'm going to do the KVD. I know it's a little mini size, but I've never, ever tried this. So this would be a good time to test it. You guys are going to have to excuse the concealer drawer. But um, yeah, it's just a little bit of a mess. We have the e.l.f. concealer. We have Tarte Shape Tape, CoverGirl. This one I might pour. This is the Revolution Eye Bright. It's like one of those wand ones. So I might grab that as like a brightening, additional brightening concealer. Elf Camo, hydrating one. Estee Lauder Double Wear, Fenty, and then the newer Maybelline concealer. But I wasn't really a fan of this. I could use this. This is the Cover Effects Power Play, which I haven't used in a while. Okay, so I also have this, the Urban Decay Naked Stay Naked Concealer. So I'm going to grab this for my concealer and I'm going to grab the Revolution Eye Bright as a like illuminator. Okay, so now that we have established my main base products, let's go into blush, highlight and bronzers. Okay, so for blushes, we have all the MAC ones right up at the front. We have just a bunch of like miscellaneous <laughs> blushes, different brands. This I haven't used in a while with the NYX Sweet Cheeks. We have my liquid blushes back there and like cream blushes. Um, and these are all the powders. We have two Wet n Wild powders right here. This one is called Pinch Me Pink. And then this one right here, which is called Mellow Wine. I have some Tarte blushes, but I think these are discontinued shades. This one is called Exposed. I might grab this as well because it's like just a pretty like natural blush shade. Just to show you guys right at the back, I have the Made by Mitchell uh, liquid blushes, which by the way, I got a deal where I bought like all six of them for £17. It was a deal on TikTok. 
it was a deal that made by Mitchell had. Oh my god, such a bargain. So I can't wait for that to come in. I have these two from Rare Beauty. Um, but I always use those. We have the Flower Beauty Blush Bomb as well. But it's too, like, bubblegum pink. You know, I think I'm going to go with the Tarte Exposed. Because you guys barely see me use these blushes. And these are actually my favourite blushes. So then moving along to bronzers. We have the MUA bronzer right here. This one I could grab. This one's in the shade Solar. We have the Rimmel Natural Bronzer, NYX Bronzer, Kylie, which is one of my favourites. Two Urban Decay ones in different shades. We have a Fenty Highlighter in the wrong section. Anastasia Bronzer. This is in the shade Cappuccino. To be honest, looking at it, I literally don't even have any bronzers. I think I'm going to go with this one because I feel like the rest you guys have seen me use. Like, you know, everyone knows NARS. Hourglass I've used, I think, recently. Like, Glowish by Huda Beauty. Um, and then this one as well is really nice. XX Revolution. This is from XX Revolution, but it is a little on the warmer side. So I'm going to go with this, which is, as you can see, a lot more cooler. So we're gathering our little products together so for highlighter i do have again some mac ones right up at the front we have this one which is double gleam that one right there like a really pretty like champagne icy gold really really nice gold shade hourglass ambient lighting powder and some mac ones which are broken that was an old one uh these are broken now it really depends on the eye look because I didn't choose what colours I'm doing on the eyes yet. So I think I'm going to go with more of a neutral highlighter. This one from Kylie is Cheers Darling. It is a little too gold though. This one might be perfect depending on whatever eye look I go for. It's the Becca Moonstone. But then again it's like discontinued so I don't want to keep using things you guys can't get. I could pull out my Colourpop Super Shock highlighter. It's in the shade Stole the Show. Okay, I'm going to grab this one. The Essence of the Highlighter. Hopefully you can get this as well. Um, so I'm going to just grab these two and I'll see during the tutorial which one I prefer to use. Now I guess we can move on into eye primers. These are the e.l.f. liquid glitters. You can see there's a nice olive here. This blue is actually really calling cool my name. So I think I might grab this. It's like a beautiful midnight electric blue so i'm gonna hold on to that we have a purple silver and then like all these really nice neutral ones some more neutrals oh this one's nice house labs like a really bright red i might grab that in case i do a red actually no i think i want to go like blue and then these are just some like clear bases but i don't need those if i do like a liquid glitter i don't really need a base some MAC paint pots, the colourful ones, the pro ones, and then like the regular paint pots you can get from the permanent line. And then all my P. Louise bases right at the back. And these are basically single shadows, but I will come back to it like this blue right here. Maybe I could use, or even this. Uh, there is no other blue or green, I don't think. These are just neutral shadows and I don't really want to go for anything neutral. Stargazer, oh my god, these are so old. Bare Minerals, Kylie. So whilst I have this blue in my hand, I want to try and look for like a blue or a green eyeshadow palette or just an eyeshadow palette that has some sort of colours like that. Right, Cherry Coke is not appropriate because it's all neutrals and like berries. Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, which I just can't get rid of because it's like so just OG. The Too Faced Gold, Urban Decay, all of these are pretty much neutral, so that kind of saves time. So I think I'm going to go over there. I don't want any Jubilee's place today. Colourpop Grandeur. This is, I think, like a nice cool tone one, but, oh no, still too warm toned. Stunning. BH Cosmetics Trendy in Tokyo. There are some blues in there, but it's a little bright apart from that. And I can't really do any transition shades in that with that, so pro probably not. Ooh, this could be perfect. The BH Cosmetics Blueberry Muffin. Is it too purple? No, I mean, it is a little too purple. But then again, 
it does have some nice like cool transition shades or maybe like that burgundy up there the peach i'm gonna grab this one in my hand just in case i'm gonna hold on to this and see what else we have so jeffree star shane dawson cherry crush by colourpop mac art library this has a blue but again no transition shades and then back there is just the jeffree star bloodlust a neutral little turkey palette from makeup revolution and then elf I'm just going to speed this part up and see what there is this i'm going to grab because i can use it with the bh cosmetics palette as well um so i'm going to grab both those palettes now let's go into the eyeliner if you guys haven't seen my eyeliner declutter oh my god i did like a not a, like maybe two months back i think and i got rid of a ton like look how empty it looks now so like jumbo eyeliners uh, there's a blue there but they might be old a brown from elf and then inglot mac I'm gonna grab the essence eyeliner. So moving along into mascaras, we have a bunch right here. So I have some here, which I'll just quickly go through. Revolution Big Lash Essence. Um, this one's from Ilonga Alice, a small uh, business. This is Sky High from Maybelline. We have the Curl Bounce from Maybelline as well. And then Wet n Wild Mega Protein. I might give Rem Beauty another go. Because I don't know if I liked it. I, I don't think I did. So I could give that another go. Max Stack. I think I might give a go. Again. I did a video on this. Morphe Make It Big. I always use. This one's actually my mum's. Bobbi Brown Smoky Mascara. For the Beauty. Etude House. You know. I think I'm going to go with the MAC. This is the brand new Mac Stack mascara. I'm gonna go with this. And I think we are down to the lipsticks. So this is the lipstick drawer, the lip gloss drawer, which actually there's a room, like there's room for so much more. Um, but yeah, these are my lip glosses. So let's start with lipsticks. I have all my Gerard Cosmetics lipsticks right up at the front, my e.l.f. Seriously Satin ones, Lime Crime, Wet n Wild, and then just again like miscellaneous. I do have some um, e.l.f. ones. These are quite bright because I'm going to go for like a blue look. I feel like I do need more of like a, a nude lip. Tom Ford. These are Primark lipsticks, which I actually really like. We have... Um, Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit. These are Kylie, but they're discontinued. All Ill Maquillage. Um, LA Girl Lipstick. W7 Very Vegan. Too Faced. Oh, I really like that. So, I'm going to grab this one. This is the Morphe Lipstick in Bare All. The NYX Shout Loud but that's too peach. We have Fenty Beauty Unbutton, again, a little too peachy by Nicola, which is super pretty, but again, too warm toned. So I think I'm gonna go with the Morphe. Okay, all my NYX lip glosses, butter glosses right up at the front, and then we have MAC. So I might grab a MAC gloss. I know you guys love MAC when I use MAC. Um, so we have, I mean, a lot of these are probably old. Pro Longwear gloss, we have gold finch is it that's gold finch that's gold finch that's very go lightly wet and wild wet cherry glosses maybe maybe that like pinky one some nars uh, glosses this is sephora we have the makeup revolution times friends ones we have some other makeup revolution ones fenty and then we have a lot of anastasia like mini glosses Oh, I know what I'm going to grab. The Morphe lip gloss in Boho, which is like a milky nude pink. Oh my god, there's concealer on it. Uh, I think this would be perfect with the lipstick. But if not, I'm just going to grab one more. I think I will grab this. 
if I want to make it a little more like brown or peachy. So at least I have the option. This is the I Heart Revolution Elf Lip Gloss in Best Coffee. So now that I have my little selection, let's go ahead and put all of these on my face and create a nice little tutorial out of it. I'm first starting off with the primer. This one is the Essence Catching Clouds Mousse Touch Primer. This is new from Essence and I really like this. You guys are going to see how it just smooths out my skin, like it smooths over any texture. It looks really smoothing and also matte. It is a great primer if you have large pores. For foundation, I'm going into the Bobbi Brown Intensive Skin Serum Foundation. This actually has SPF 40 and it's in the shade Warm Ivory. Now, this foundation is super luxurious. It is a very expensive foundation. You can see it's a really beautiful foundation that just blends out and gives you a really nice radiant finish. It covers enough and I don't know, I think my skin just looks really, really nice. Of course, you can get other foundations that give you this similar effect, but I do have it and I do love it and I wanted to use it because you guys have actually never seen me use this on camera. For concealer, I'm going to be going into the Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer. This one's in 30NN, and I really like this concealer. It's actually one of my probably favorite high-end concealers, one of my favorites for high-end. And this is just a nice medium to full coverage if you do build it concealer. And I don't know, I just really like the shade. I really like the consistency. But this is so underrated. This is the Makeup Revolution Eye Bright Illuminating Concealer. Now, this actually is a concealer that has pearls in there. You can see it gives off like almost a little bit of a metallic kind of highlighter look, but still conceals. This is just one of those perfect brightening concealers where it just gives you a little bit of luminosity and i haven't really found anything like this before i mean i'm sure there's tons of products like this out there but can you guys just see like the sh beautiful sheen that it gives it's still very subtle i am going to set that with the kvd lock it loose powder now i actually didn't like this too much because i felt like it just made my under eyes look a little bit dry and it just didn't really do much for me um yeah i wasn't a huge fan of it But to set the rest of my face, oh my gosh, this is a new favorite as well. This is the Huda Beauty Glowish Luminous Pressed Powder. And as you can see, I'm just setting it with a big brush all over my face, set that foundation. But you're going to see, again, it gives this like pearl luminous effect on the skin. It's not a matte powder. It is a very radiant, glowy powder. It just gives the skin dimension. I don't know. I absolutely love how my skin looks. And then for bronzer, I'm using the MUA Bronzer in Solar. This is a great shade, um, great formula as well, very smooth, doesn't, you know, look patchy, it doesn't go on patchy, and I'm just tapping it into the skin with this e.l.f. blush brush. Speaking of blush, I'm going into the Tarte blush, the Amazonian clay blush in Exposed. They actually still have this shade. I thought it was discontinued, but it's not. So this shade is still available and it's just one of the prettiest neutral blushes. If you're looking for a blush that's just not too pink or peachy and you're just looking for something like very wearable for every single day or any look, this is that blush. For highlighter, I'm going into the Essence Highlighter in Mesmerize. This is a really nice kind of light gold, I would say. Um, and it's still, again, a very nice neutral highlighter. And it just looks very glowy and blinding. Absolutely love this one. So 
So moving on into eyes, I'm going into the BH Cosmetics Blueberry Muffin Eyeshadow Palette. This one has really nice tones of, you know, cool tones of just purples and blues. And I just think it's really really nice i think it is discontinued though um i'll see if i can leave a link down below i'm first going into the shade called treat which is like a cool gray and putting that in the crease then going into cheat day which is a really nice kind of periwinkle blue and i'm just also putting that in the crease just to add a little bit of blue into the look <laughs> next going into so good this is a really nice like cobalt blue shade all of these are mattes and i'm just basically putting that on the lash line and kind of taking it halfway through on the eyelid i'm then going into the p louise worldy eyeshadow palette which they no longer make as well i believe and i'm going into that navy blue which is a matte and i first took it on a little pencil brush but i realized i wanted a bigger brush so i switched to a bigger brush and i'm basically just darkening up that outer corner and giving it more of a deep navy blue to the look however i do feel like at the end i could have made it a little bit darker Going into the e.l.f. liquid glitter eyeshadow, this one's in Ocean Eyes. Now, I was so excited to use this, but unfortunately, this dried down so quickly more than the other liquid glitters from e.l.f. I don't know why, but this one just dried down really quickly and it became quite patchy. And I was just so disappointed because I really looked forward to using this and seeing how it went on. But it blended out patchy so i couldn't use this alone and it was just a very weird texture it wasn't like the it was it didn't really have a lot of glitter in so it. i'm just blending that out and then i do go into that metallic blue from the p louise and i basically do pack that on the lid and then i go into a metallic blue from the bh cosmetics palette and pack that on top to make it even brighter so you guys will see that now i'm starting off with the p louise just to give myself like a metallic blue base and then just to brighten it i go in with the bh cosmetics one and the bh cosmetics shade is called tempting Next, I'm going into Sugared, which is an icy, frosty white, and I'm applying that as my inner corner highlight. And then taking these three shades, I'm basically just kind of making a little cocktail on the lower lash line, just kind of blending them all in, in no particular order, just until I found the right kind of look for the lower lash line. Although the... Although the right side, which is you guys' is left, um, I did make it a tad more purple. I did notice that at the end. For eyeliner, I'm going into the Essence Waterproof Eyeliner Pen. I actually had no idea this was waterproof, but it is. And just doing a simple wing with this. And for mascara, I'm going into the MAC Cosmetics MAC Stack Mega Brush Mascara. I did a full video on this if you guys want to check it out. It's a very viral mascara at the moment. And I have some thoughts, but you guys can see that video. Um, but I did want to use it again in this video. And my opinion doesn't really change on this mascara. For lips, I'm going into the Morphe Mega Matte Lipstick in Bare Or. This is a very matte um, lipstick it's not too drying but it is very matte feeling and it's just a nice kind of cool beige shade with a hint of maybe like a little bit of a pink and to top it off i'm going into the morphe lip gloss in boho actually this is one of my favorites now this is a really creamy milky like baby pink gloss or like a neutral pink gloss it's just so perfect And I didn't pick out a setting spray, I forgot, but this is the final look. Let me know what you guys think. Looking at it, I could have added either a black liner in the waterline or a nude or even a white. And I don't know, I could have maybe darkened up the eye just slightly on the outer corner. But apart from that, 
I absolutely love how it turned out. I just think it makes my eyes look really like lifted and sultry and smoky and just sexy looking, right? So yeah, I really, really like it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and I'm going to try to do more shop my stashes often. Maybe I'll do like one to two a month. Um, so I think I'm going to work on that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Comment down below. And until next time, I'll speak to you guys all in my next video.